Welcome to another video from Dr. Locks. I'm showing you a Borg 5000 fitted to a 60mm gate. And this is the one here, because the latch only comes in a 60 or a 70, we had to fit it with the actual um, little mortise lock made by Borg. You can see there. So um, you need to drill these ones down to put the plate on to mortise that in so that's flush. You can see a little bit of spray here because I've put a little bit of uh, lubricant on it because it is outdoors. Okay, so the black on black, it's very nice. Inside handle, always free. F function from the outside so you can go in and out. When you hold down and push the C button, then you'll need to start using the pin number again. With the uh, code changing, you put in your original code, you put your key in, you turn it, and then uh, you can push clear and put your new code in and away you go. But just looking at it from this side, looks quite good. Now this took about uh, about two to two and a half hours to install and it has to be 30 degree heat and it's pretty hot out here. So about two and a half hours estimate to install this. Now that's installing the lock, the striker plate and fitting in the 35mm back set little mortise latch and that's all that is, that's just a little dead latching mortise latch. Now looking at the gate here, I've had to move the gate over because the gap is just too big. So it really needs a blocker plate on the outside to stop people being able to credit card it. Um, I'm going to leave that up to the gate guys, so this is pretty much where we're up to. On this side uh, it had to be moved across, so we had to move those hinges across. Unfortunately, there's nothing we could do because the gap here was just too big for the locking system. So now at least it's, uh, it's usable and they'll need to put some sort of blocking plate from the other side. That's all that can, can be done. But the black on black finish is, looks pretty good. The mortise in looks good. So that's pretty much it. I would not normally fit a, a lock like this on a gate because this gate would will eventually move. Look at this. Yeah. It'll eventually move, and what will happen is because there's only five mil up and down, uh, a little bit of five mil this way, five mil that way, it's going to move. Whether it's the hinges that bend, the gate that moves, kids riding on it, they always move. So I like to give it a little bit more adjustment, which I have on this one, um, and it sh should be working good. So that's a Borg 5000 fitted with the 23 mil back set mortise lock latch, and that's a Borg as well. So nice looking lock. Okay, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.